let's talk about conclusions for a moment. Conclusions in argument writing are difficult. Conclusions are always difficult in all forms of writing, right? All writers of all types struggle with this point. With argument writing, it's particularly difficult because you started writing this essay with an eye toward empathizing with a, your audience, trying to see things from their point of view. You've crafted this entire essay and shaped all of your arguments, showing that you can see things from your audience point of view. By the time you get to the conclusion, your hope, if you're really good, is to have them see things from your point of view, because that will be the key step toward making them come to the conclusion that your thesis is valid. That's your objective. I'm gonna show you an example of how one author has done this, talk you through some of those pieces, and then we'll wrap this up at the very end by talking about how one summarizes key points and generates a new knowledge to arrive at a new understanding. So for example, with this particular conclusion, the author's objective is to have all readers, and they clearly have chosen a wide audience instead of a very specific audience, but their goal is to have the audience consider the validity of their thesis, that there is high value in the stay-at-home mom. Therefore, one of the things that you'll notice with the conclusion is they will acknowledge counterpoints, summarize key points, and conclude by reinforcing the thesis. This is what needs to happen on the most basic of levels. Let me read a little bit with you, and I'll point out what it is that I'm talking about. So it starts here. Even though being a stay-at-home mom may have periods of loneliness, boredom, frustration, and feelings of futility, the rewards of being personally involved with raising one's own children greatly outweighs the negatives. Now, I'd like this sentence in the sense that it tries to identify some of the downsides to the argument, but doesn't let that sentence finish without coming back to the main idea of the value of the stay-at-home mom. I think that is an expertly done uh, taking a negative and turning it to a positive. It goes on to say, one of the greatest accomplishments of in life is being a stay-at-home mom where one can teach and model good behavior and moral fortitude. Again, this goes back to one of the key points of the um, moral fabric that is maintained by following the author's premise. By emulating these morals and values, children enter into adulthood with the necessary tools needed to produce a successful society. Again, a review of the key points. As tough as this unpaid task may be, this self-sacrifice of staying at home to raise one's children can be the most uh, society-enhancing job a woman can do. So here we go with the concluding thought. Uh, talking about the idea of self-sacrifice, that is, a, again, that is a highly valued in our society. Um, and, and it's societal enhancement, again, highly valued. So it brings out sort of this new knowledge or this new idea where that the audience can say like, okay, even if I do disagree, I can see that there is validity to the point. And that is the objective of argument writing. Not necessarily to convince an argument to change their point of view entirely, though that would be nice. Um, I don't think in a five page essay that you can get all people to give up their jobs to go home to raise children. Um, that may be an impractical expectation. But in this case, the practicality of seeing like, no, nah, you might have a point there. That works. And that's how this author has chosen to conclude this particular piece. I think it's effective. Congratulations, you did it. Now, you started writing this piece by empathizing with your audience. You had to first understand who they were and what their needs were. And then you brought in examples that met their needs. You brought in quotes and evidence that met their needs. You crafted your message so that it can be their needs. 
so that by the time they get to the conclusion, you've met their needs and they can see the validity of your point. And that's a good piece of writing. What's hard about it is that it often takes a lot of revision and why it is super important to have excellent proofreaders. And instead of overwhelming them with the entire document, there's a lot of wisdom in having them look at one paragraph at a time, one paragraph at a time, and maybe have two or three people look at the same paragraph and get their points of view, because that will help you bend your message and craft your message to meet a wide audience. But you've done it so far. From beginning to end, you've written an argument essay if you've done all these pieces. Look forward to reading what you've written.